this is the OC Food Diva. We're at the Picar Resort in Goleta, California, on the outskirts of Santa Barbara for the Santa Barbara Food and Wine Weekend. And today is the neighborhood market tour. So let's go in and take a look. Welcome to Isabella Gourmet Foods. We are downtown Santa Barbara's only boutique artist and grocery, highlighting the local food community with small artisan products from the Central Coast area. We have a whole smattering today for you to try everything from local bruschetta spread to good stuff cookies and gluten free brownies. So far, give us a try. So, this guy says, Tequila, mezcal, a little bit of lime juice, and then two ounces. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Hi, I'm Sandy, and I'm from Forbidden Fruit Orchards, and I'm a local farmer that grows wine grapes, blueberries, mulberries apples, avocados, and numerous things, and we make wines from our fruit and from our grapes. And today we're here with our Paxini mulberries, our fresh jewel blueberries, and a couple wines, and our jams and syrups. These lovely ladies. Hi. Hello. Nice I'm Jean-Michel from Chocolat du Calibre 100, and here are all our chocolate that we make, but some of them, we didn't bring all the things. So we have a dark chocolate with uh, salty caramel in the shape of a Buddha. We have our art in a <coughs> with a dark chocolate and passion fruit. We have a dark chocolate with boysenberry. We have a dark chocolate with basil and orange ganache. A uh, ginger and lemon. A champagne truffle. A fresh mint leaf ganache. This one is a white chocolate with shredded coconut and dark chocolate on the outside. Banana and rum. Uh, Earl Grey tea. This one it's a pure origin. All the <coughs> all the beans are grown in Tanzania, Africa, and it's a 75% cocoa. And this one it's a 70, uh, 67% from Madagascar. <laughs> Today, rosemary infused vodka, fresh squeezed lemon juice, house made honey syrup, dry curd sour yeah. absinthe. John is pouring a sugar snap pea infused gin gimlet with dry vermouth, orange bitters, lime and a dash of sugar. <laughs> so, this one, uh, and I still have sugar snap pea infused gin gimlet with dry vermouth, orange bitters, lime, a little bit of simple juice. Hey, how's it going? We're from Sama Sama Kitchen and we're doing a pork fried rice on top of a garlic krupuk, which is a garlic chip made with tapioca, tapioca flour. Yeah. So I missed that. What are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing a pork fried rice Okay. Uh, on top of a garlic cookbook, which is a garlic chip made with tapioca flour. Okay, can I make, take a try? Yeah, of course. Please. And where are you guys from? Uh, Salma Salma Kitchen. Okay. Uh, in uh, Santa Barbara. Yep. Right next to the Granada. And who's the mastermind behind all of this? Uh, me and a buddy uh, I met in culinary school, and we traveled to Indonesia. And we spent some time, two years in Bali, and decided to open up an Indonesian restaurant in the States. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Very good. Yeah. Give me five. What is your YouTube video? It's going to be just on the event in its entirety. Hi, I'm with El Pacino, and today we're sampling some of our oils and vinegars. We're locally here in Santa Barbara, and uh, today we're sampling our aged balsamic, our most popular product, over our uh, strawberries, fresh strawberries. Hey, 
are you going to ask my mom? Hi. It's okay. I'm with Bragg Life Food Products and we're here today at the Bacara for Food and Wine Weekend sampling our apple cider vinegar drink. Our apple cider vinegar has been around, our company's been around since 1912 and this is our signature product. And it's really great for the digestion, it's great for detoxification, hair, skin, everything. And today we're here showing our, sampling our apple cider vinegar drinks, which are apple cider vinegar cut with fruit juices. And it has all the enzymes in them, and they also have no added sugar, no preservatives. So they're really fun to take on the go. Here's one of them. There you are, man. Oh, thank you so much. Sir. Salmon? Salmon, yes, thank salmon. Can you explain what you're making? We're doing uh, crepes. We're doing a ham crepe with Gruyere cheddar and a truffle cream cheese and a salmon crepe with a caper cream cheese on it. Yeah, I, just, uh, I, I tried to get on food retailers, so like, uh, you know, you can buy tortilla, so mm -hmm. now you can buy crepe at the supermarket and just cook at home. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, and I sell uh, also, I have a commercial kitchen in town, so people can buy fresh crepe, just, but I sell a uh, plain crepe, or just the chocolate one, but I don't cook the crepe. Okay. I mean, I cook, but <laughs> I don't cook the What's in the cake? Thank you. This is a raw cacao truffle with a coconut vanilla cream and fresh organic strawberries. And can you talk about the, your company a little bit? Yeah, we have a local CSA, so a collective of different farmers um, from Ojai to Bolita, and we deliver fresh produce to people's businesses and homes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, what are you serving here today? So, three of our most popular are our signature blend Sauvignon Blanc. Our flying off the table as fast as you can possibly do dry rosé of Syrah, which is absolutely perfect for a day like today. And then for the red wine crowd, we have our classic cuvee, which is a blend of Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Malbec. Where, is, uh, the, where are you located at? So we're about 35 minutes over the hill in the San Inez Valley between the towns of Solvang and Los Lagos. Come visit. I don't know. We'll be back for a taste. Enormous expense. Yeah. Well, I, I grow pigs up in... Hilton, and I raise a specialty pig. It's called a Mangalitsa, so it's the last domestic pig in the world that still has hair on it. So they're fairly distinctive looking. But, but the spe their um, specialty is for making cured meats, so prosciuttos, um, uh, charcuterie in general is what these pigs are specialty pig for. They have a lot of fat. And uh, charcuterie has become popular over the last 10, 15 years. It really wasn't popular 20 years ago, but now it seems like if you go to L.A. at the top end restaurants, they all have charcuterie plates, and a lot of them are doing their own, pro making their own products. So I uh, switched from growing vegetables over to raising pigs. And then my friend Alex, who has a place where he does his own curing and stuff, so it's all USDA cured salamis up in Paso Robles, which I think it's not too many USDA places that I can think of around. No, like us, uh, there are just... Uh, the one that's called Cremelli. Yeah, maybe in, five in, in, United, in all United States. And then we make also the anduja, the anduja spread with the mangalista pigs. So this is a salami spread, very popular <laughs> and very tasty. Should we try some? Uh, we will get a few photos or video personally. But the valley's really changed over the last 15, 20 years with, with our...
here to show what we do. We make our homemade jams, our pies, and our quiche from our products. We sell at farmers markets and in, in, uh, throughout the Santa Barbara County and Los Angeles County. Uh, we do about 12 markets a week, so keeps us really busy. We also raise animals on our farm, so we're a very sustainable small family farm. Glad to be here today. Beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you. So, the first one you gave my wife, the uh, Chardonnay. The Chardonnay. Which one was it? The J H. The J H. Tell us the name of your product and then what you're We're Sugar and Salt Creamery. We're a local company. We do non-dairy ice cream with a raw sprouted almond milk. And today we brought a peanut butter and a strawberry banana sorbet that is all dairy free and vegan for uh, samples. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and here we have a sample of the, the peanut butter sorbet. <laughs> this one try it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Warbrood? Creamy. <laughs> okay. Hair. Here's the strawberry banana. Kitchen and Wine Bar. We're located in Lompoc, California, and today we're taking a, a spin on Julia Child's uh, liver mousse uh, recipe. So we went ahead and made it almost like a balmy sandwich, but a, with a puff instead of the French baguette to make it a little more portable. And we wanted to keep the pork out just to really highlight the, the solo of the recipe, which is her liver mousse recipe, and that's what we have for you today. <laughs> These are my goat cheese truffles featured in my cookbook, A Taste of Ojai. And I have a roasted red pepper and walnut spread featuring my fennel salt. And I have a fig and olive tapenade featuring my lavender salt. And it also has pistachios and pomegranate glaze. All the recipes are in my cookbook. Thank you. Uh, and here's a free recipe for my stuffed gorgonzola fix. Uh, yeah, yeah. And right there is fantastic with lamb. I shared my favorite article. I do article. it where I do, like, like I did the chef. I'm Clarissa um, from Pretzel Guild, and um, our pretzels are 100% organic, um, made completely by hand, so hand rolled, hand cut, hand formed. Um, we use local beers, um, Telegraph California Ale and Topa Topa Level Line um, from Santa Barbara and Ventura. And um, we do not use lye in the process. Uh, we developed an alternative process um, so that we're not putting chemicals into the beautiful organic ingredients. Um, topped with a natural sea salt. And um, we make different dips to go with it. Um, we make our own mustards. Um, so yeah, we're very excited to be a part of the event and um, you know, the great food community in uh, on the Central Coast and in Santa Barbara. Do you guys have a storefront in Santa Barbara? No, so we uh, do pop-ups and um, events. We're also at Earth Day this weekend. Um, and starting this season, you'll be able to get our pretzels at the Santa Barbara Bowl um, during the concert season. Um, and uh, we do catering, uh, special events, wholesale. Um, yeah, so it's very exciting. Taco de Montalban is like a mild Manchego style. <laughs> we have both the cheese and the fig jam for sale. I'm sorry, Sam? I said we have both the cheese and the fig jam for sale. But it does it only cut in the big... Oh, no, we cut it into half-pound pieces right there. Nice. Yeah, and at the shop, we cut it to order. Okay. Municipal winemakers in Kotec. Uh, our winemaker is Dave Potter. He started Municipal in 2008. He just wants to make uh, nice, approachable wines, easy to drink. He started Kotec last year. It's our single vineyard, single varietal focus. Uh, and so I've got some dry Rieslings, uh, Chenin Blanc, and our kind of Rhone style red blends. Yeah, so we did wine in a can because we, we love portability. <laughs> uh, we've got a Chardonnay, which I think is the first Chardonnay to can, quite honestly. And uh, it's a Central Coast Chardonnay. Can you tip it a little bit to the left there? <laughs> Central Coast Chardonnay from two, it's from Monterey County and Santa Barbara County. And then we need a red blend that's all Sonoma County fruit with a little bit of Santa Barbara mixed in. It's kind of a kitchen sink blend, but they're definitely made to taste great out of the can. 
so it's it's perfect for people who don't want to lift their pinky when they drink. <laughs> Stephen Bedford is a winemaker and owner. He is one of the sort of the older veterans of the wine industry in Santa Barbara County. Uh, the Bedford wines, uh, I would say, they emphasize rum varieties, but he's also into eclectic varieties. So you frequently will see like a Gewurztraminer, Carignan, a Tempranillo, uh, all textbook kind of classic kind of additions. Wines are in the barrel for uh, an extended amount of time, so when they're released, they're at their optimum. The wines we have today are the Chenin Blanc. It's barrel fermented and uh, gives it, a, it's a neutral oak, so it gives it a creaminess without, without being over oaked. Uh, we also have our Grenache. Uh, the Grenache and the Capron's is uh, one of our most sought after wines. Uh, again, the, the Grenache is a little more uh, uh, layered, lots of flavors. The Cap Franc is something you don't see often. There's a richness, sort of a dusty earthiness to the, the fruit that's there. <laughs> Omar Clamont is one of the original wineries in Santa Barbara County. The wines are made uh, by Jim Clendenin, who has been the winemaker and owner from the very beginning, uh, starting in 1982. He's one of the the big personalities on the lines of the industry. Uh, the Oba Clamont label emphasizes Burgundian varietals, so you're going to be seeing lots of different Chardonnays, Pinot Noirs from different vineyards. Vineyards can be any place local, and he's even has gone as far north as uh, Russian River and, or, or, and up to Oregon. The Clendenin family is uh, another label that he has. The fruit comes from Le Bon Clement, and this, primarily this uh, label emphasizes all the wonderful things that he likes to do that are not Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. So you're going to be seeing Rosé, Sauvignon Blanc, Birch Demeaners, Italian varieties, uh, as well as some Chardonnay and Pinot Noir in the Clendenin family. Uh, the wines are available at our tasting room, which is actually downtown Santa Barbara next to the wine cask. Uh, but the wines are made up in Santa Maria, and we're actually situated in Viennesito Vineyards, which is one of our primary sources of grapes. Let me distract you so you keep pouring. Yes, you chose to pour this today on this beautiful day out here at the car. Thank you for your time coming out here. Excellent. Oh, he did. All right. Atta boy. Thank you. You're welcome. Just tell us the name of your company sure. and so the product. I make, this is Red Hand Cannery, and I make uh, different types of jams and marmalades. Everything is made either from our farm in Carpinteria or from Santa Barbara County farms and ranches, small farms and ranches. Uh, I have two new flavors today that I've never, I'm, I'm trying out for the first time, which is the berry rose and the strawberry basil. And um, so far, everyone seems to like them, so I'm really excited. And then two of my marmalades, uh, my Irish whiskey and orange marmalade and my spicy orange marmalade have won an international marmalade competition. Hoppy Poppy. This is a Hoppy Crystal Weiss beer. It's our lighter beer. And this is a Danish style red lager. From Figaro. Mm hmm. Yep. yep. Would you like to try one? Um, he would. would you like? The Danish red. Danish red. Do you have a glass? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, I just put one in there. Thank you. Is it that one? <laughs> Thank you. 